afraid of the darkness. And like me, all my other friends had the same problem. So we all got together to find the solution. And we came up with this sensor that adapts to our pupil and would make us see in the dark. You see, problem solved. Coming up to start the Bragham was an eye opener to all the possibilities ahead. They showed us different markets where we could expand and introduced us to big time investors. We tested the prototype with 50 kids and the feedback was amazing. Everyone could just relax in bed at night. Just before we started production, we already had lots of orders. But only when this big investor came to play, we were able to mass produce it. And we were able to expand our business to reach kids from Europe, to Asia, from Africa, to America, and give these kids a brighter night. Two years ago, my parents explained to me where people go after they close their eyes forever. This was just before my grandpa went to his new home in the stars. But from that moment on, I knew how to do something about this. So I came to start a bragger to see if this could be done. They had health professionals ready to validate your idea. After long meetings, they finally helped me realize that this was just too ambitious. But I just couldn't let go of the idea. It was probably for the best. So now, working closely to start a Braga and the university, we're developing another idea. This time, it's to solve respiratory problems in elderly people. I used to hear all kinds of noises in my room. It was really scary that I had to run to my parents' bed at 2 a.m. every night. One day, Daddy sat me down at the kitchen table and told me, Son, we have to do something about this. Monsters aren't real. But still, I wasn't comfortable, so I started developing this app that works as your phone's gyroscope, camera and microphone to scan any noises coming from a 5 meter radius. So if you wake up petrified in the middle of the night, you can check your phone and go back to sleep, knowing that no monsters are trying to eat you. It was hard at first, because no one believed in us. All the people and investors we asked to help us told us to take a hike. But I'm a 10 year old who never gives up, so I continued on working in this app. In less than one year, we had more than one bazillion downloads. It was a really big success. Last week, we sold it at an evaluation of 3.5 million to a company that we can't say the name because it's Google. Now we're working on an app that hypnotizes dogs from a distance. Cycling through the neighborhood won't be the same anymore. 